India is all set to allow tourism at the Doklam Tri Junction from September 2025, which is a highly strategic region near the India China Bhutan border in Sikkim. The DRDO has conducted two back to back flight tests of the Prale short range ballistic missile on 28th and 29th of July 2025 as part of user trials. The missile precisely followed the intended trajectory, and accurately validated its maximum and minimum range capability with pinpoint precision. The Indian Army has issued a request for information for the procurement of 39 Carrier Command post-tracked vehicles, specifically designed for deployment in high-altitude areas. The Ministry of Defense is cracking down on defense firms involved in white-labeling foreign systems using Chinese components. The Ministry of Defense has signed a MOU with Bangalore-based firm Micro Labs to set up a testing facility specializing in mechanical and material sciences at the Tamil Nadu Defense Industrial Corridor. The DRDO will set up an advanced infrared detector technology center in Lucknow under UP Defense Corridor under a 2000 crore rupees project. The Tejas Mark II will feature the indigenously developed software defined Radio 2 that supports multiple frequency bands and waveforms that will enable secure voice and data exchange via both line of sight and beyond line of sight links. Adani Defense has become the first private Indian company to successfully clear desert trials for 155 mm artillery ammunition, marking a major milestone in indigenous defense manufacturing. After successfully operationalizing 12 ATAGs, Armenia is all set to place a follow-on order for 80 ATAGs, that will come with certain system-level modifications, which includes Armenian language trajectory module interface. Delhi-based Veda Aeronautics has announced that it has entered India's male UAV segment, targeting the Tri-Services Fast Track 20,000 crore deal to procure 97 drones. The DRDO has issued a tender to develop a next-generation long-range radar for Indian Navy warships, featuring two massive 6 m by 6 m ASA panels, each weighing 25 tons. Designed for BMD air surveillance and long-range tracking, the radar will play a key role in India's next-generation warships. After clearing the 2,500 crore rupees project to develop 100-ton extra-large unmanned underwater vehicles for the Navy, latest information suggests that India will also develop a 500-ton armed unmanned submarine equipped with torpedoes. The RDO's aeronautical development establishment has announced that its upcoming stealthy jet-powered hail unmanned combat aerial vehicle will also be armed with Astra Mark I and Mark II air-to-air -air missiles that will be linked to AWACS, for engaging enemy manned aircraft in complex air battles. Russia has operationalized the 190 km range R-77M beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile on Su-35 fighter jets and if India acquires it in limited numbers for its Su-30, it could help counter the 145 km range Chinese PL-15E missile fielded by Pakistan Air Force, and 200 km range PL-15 of Chinese Air Force. India's 160 km range Astra Mark II is still under trials, and it is expected to complete user trials by end of 2026 and serial production and delivery ramp-up will take place from 2027 onwards. The Cabinet Committee on Security is all set to clear nine advanced submarines on the Project 75I, with six submarines in the first phase worth 90,000 crore rupees, and three more submarines in the second phase. If commercial negotiations conclude by end of 2025, the deal could be finalized by March 2026. This also means that the plan for three upgraded Calvary class submarines with AIP system has likely been cancelled. The DRDO has unveiled an updated design of its Max 6.5 capable 2000 km range hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, that includes a single large tail fin replacing the previous twin fins, for better stability at speeds over Max 6.5, and new crop delta wings designed for improved control and heat resistance at high speeds. Today's top 3 comments Omar Jot